Uh, our building report comes from General Sherman Junior High School tonight, and for that report, I'll call on Principal Scott Burry. Thank you, Mr. Wickton, um, President Iman, School Board, for having me this evening. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these uh, PowerPoint slides is why I've passed you a point of reference. I know some of you are data-oriented people, so can kind of give you a reference point as we go through this quickly. I like to start the presentation here with a quote that we've uh, kind of taken on this year. It's a quote by Aristotle. We are, we, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. Uh, it's something we continue to strive for. We've been very lucky over the last couple of years to achieve that and uh, complacency is not something um, that we see happening. I had a young gray-haired coach tell me one time, you either getting worse or getting better. So uh, we're finding ways to uh, General Sherman to continue to uh, get better. So as we go through the, these slides pretty quickly, um, our sixth grade reading scores, we had the uh, second highest score that we've had um, in the past. And compared to similar districts, uh, I took out of the 20 similar districts, I took out the schools that were comparative to us as far as middle schools with sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Um, and our sixth grade reading score, I think we have math up here, but our sixth grade reading score is actually the highest of those um, districts. Our sixth grade math score was the third highest we've uh, had um, in our time, the last since 2008. In our similar districts, it was the highest as well. Seventh grade reading. Uh, was the highest score that we've had in our building to date. Um, in similar districts, that was second overall. Seventh grade math, uh, we had the third highest score we've had over, t uh, over time. And although it was third that we've had in our similar districts, it was number one as well. Eighth grade reading, all time high of a 93.4%. Um, again, with our similar districts, that was the highest score of the bunch. Uh, moving on to eighth grade math, we had the second highest score um, that we've had and second highest of similar districts. And moving to eighth grade science, we had the, uh, again, second highest score we recorded and second among similar districts. Those similar districts include, include schools like Marietta, Mount Vernon, Sydney, Tiffin, Findlay, Logan, Austin Towns, as well as a few others. Um, not only looking at similar districts, but we also like to compare ourselves with some of our competition. Um, so I did pull up Pickerton Ridgeview and Pickerton Lakeview 7th and 8th grade scores as well. Um, of those five scores in 7th and 8th grade, uh, we beat them overall in 7th uh, grade math and 8th grade math. Um, we pulled a couple uh, seconds in 8th grade reading and science and we were third in 7th uh, grade reading, uh, not by much. So. Uh, Something we look at, something we compare ourselves to, and again, somebody we strive to beat repeatedly. Um, okay, our uh, results, getting to our report card, um, we hit all our indicators for an A. Our performance index of 101.7 um, is a B. As you can see, we've been uh, over 100 the last couple of years. Uh, going back to our qu uh, quote to start, if um, you having to look at the uh, handout that I gave you, you can see that our scores over the last three and four years are very consistent. Very high, very consistent, something again we're very proud of. Uh, I'll get into the AMOs a little bit on the next slide, um, but attendance rate, something new on the report card that uh, covers all your subgroups. Um, we want to stay above 93%, so we don't drop any letter grade in our AMOs, so something we're looking at as well. Uh, next slide there. Our AMO results, um, you can see in our reading, we had an overall 87.2, uh, which is a B, and a 75.0, which is a C, which averaged out to be an 81.1. We realize with four subgroups, we need to, uh, out of 400 points, we need 360 to be an A. Um, we are 348 in reading and 300 in math. So uh, again, we have a reference point of something uh, that we will strive for. Uh, will be very difficult to reach, but um, it's not something that is um, completely out of reach. Um, but if we uh, don't reach that 360, we want to make sure we stay in that B range. And next slide. Uh, kind of covers our overall grades. We received, uh, we didn't receive an overall rating this year grade. We received seven uh, grades in these areas. A in our indicators, B in our index, B in our AMOs. And we received four grades in our value added, um, ACAA. Uh, I would like to, uh, uh, overall, 
uh, recognize that we were the seventh ranked school in the state of Ohio out of uh, 2,557 schools that have a value added rank. We were uh, consistent, sixth overall in reading and eighth overall in math. So it wasn't like uh, one or the other was really carrying us. Um, looking at that C, again, something we have some plans to uh, improve on. Um, I just got off the phone uh, this afternoon with the principal of Gahanna Middle School South, um, who got an A um, in that in, in the gifted subgroup, um, and we have plans to make some contact and uh, see what's going on in their gifted program um, to look at that. And in comparing our scores scores overall in uh, seven of those um, subgroups or seven of the uh, ratings uh, we did beat them in five out of seven so uh, they do have us in gifted and we're going to find out what the heck they're doing to uh, yeah. to uh, get us there uh, final slide here um, why is general sherman a place to be in our marketing strategy well i'll, I'll give you i'll, I'll tell you two things um, our report card our, our ratings our test scores they speak for themselves that's number one um, why it's a place to be number two we can't get those results without our staff and, and i was Lucky enough to have quite a few of our staff sitting over here. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming. They deserve the credit uh, for those results. Um, they're the ones in the trenches. Um, we don't. Yay. Yay. We we don't um, you know we don't ask for much um, of our staff. We just ask that they give us all they got for those 42 minutes. 63 minutes or 84 minutes when they have those kids. We don't control them when they go home. And I'll tell you what, our teachers daily, period by period, doesn't matter if it's Monday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Friday afternoon, they're working bell to bell with those kids. The kids are actively engaged, they're actively involved. Our teachers are creating great relationships daily with those kids, um, and we have to. Uh, when you look at a, a percent of uh, free and reduced lunch we have, uh, you have to do that to get those results. And again, they deserve that credit. You know, again, wh why, why is it the place to be? Why are those teachers the uh, reason place to be? I'll give you a little more uh, uh, statistics here. Uh, we have, a, a, of our staff, we have 11 of those that are coaches in our building. Um, I think only one is just coaches in the district, but 11 of them choose to work with our kids outside of the days in athletics. And, Again, there's a reason why General Sherman's athletics are on the rise. Um, we have a power of the pen, the Science Olympiad group that, uh, that comes back with tremendous results each year going to state competitions. Uh, we have a group of teachers um, that instituted a Chicago art trip last year uh, with <coughs> much success, and they're going back again this year with probably um, added numbers up over 30. We have dedicated OA tutors that work after school a couple months before the OA to make sure we continue to get those results. Uh, at our Tectoberfest uh, a couple Fridays ago, we had uh, 12 staff members presenting at Tectoberfest. We're using technology, we're engaging kids, uh, you know, we're doing things uh, that we need to do to get those results. We have student council dances and prep rallies, uh, pies in the face of our teachers. I think a couple of them are, uh, are here today. Uh, staff or student volleyball and basketball games uh, that we'd call our halfway the OA pep rally. We're playing a Veterans Day assembly. Um, band and choir trips and performances are top notch. And we've done this, we've been consistent and been doing this over the last um, four or five years um, that I've been there and at least in charge of hiring. We've hired over 20 staff members as teachers. Um, so they've come in, they've um, seen the culture, they've assimilated to the culture, uh, and we've got those results. Our, these teachers right here should not be ashamed to be recognized. Some of them were like, oh, I don't know if I should come. I don't know. How's that going to look? I'll tell you what, they shouldn't be ashamed to be recognized. They deserve to be recognized. They deserve to be thanked. I, I told them, I brag about you guys all the time behind your back. Give me a chance to do it in front of your faces. And again, <laughs> I thank you daily for the work you do. Gary Mahler, former principal of General Sherman and Stanberry, used to talk about he had the best staffs around. Gary, I'll put this staff up against any staff you ever had, and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gary.
You know, when you have General Sherman present, you're going to hear a lot of numbers because the numbers they put out are outstanding. And uh, I think that's a great motto, great motto for all of us, great motto for General Sherman. And I want to say thank you to the staff for coming. Uh, you're doing a great job, and we know that you continue to do so. So thank you very much for your, what you're doing.